Hello and welcome to today's lesson in numerical analysis. So in today's lesson we are going to focus on the Thomas algorithm. Alright, so what I want you to know is that the Thomas algorithm is an algorithm for factoring or decomposing a tridiagonal matrix. So this tridiagonal is very important. Because if the matrix is not tridiagonal, then you can't use the Thomas algorithm on it into a product of a lower triangular and upper triangular matrix. Alright, so when you have um, a tridiagonal matrix A, you can use the Thomas algorithm to decompose it into a product of a lower triangular matrix and an upper triangular matrix. So let's consider the case of a 3x3 matrix. So we know for a 3 by 3 matrix, this is the form of the tridiagonal matrix. We always have 0 here and 0 here. So for instance, if it is 4 by 4 system, then it's going to give us something like A will be equal to, which is 4 by 4 system. So we will have elements here, then we will have two zeros here. We will have elements here, we have one zero here. Then we have one zero here, we have three elements here, and we have two zeros here and two elements here. So you see, you're going to get this here and this here. So basically, that's what the tridiagonal system is about. So we are considering a 3 by 3 matrix, for instance, since you'll be solving a question which involves 3 by 3. Right? So we have this to be the representation of it. Let me clean this and bring the zero. Alright, so when you have this tridiagonal system here and you want to factorize it into a product of a lower triangular matrix and an upper triangular matrix, then we have this to be a representative of our lower triangular matrix and this represents our upper triangular matrix. So you could see that when it comes to our lower triangular matrix, Everything is known with the exception of L2 and L3, which we have to find. When it comes to the upper triangular, we can get B1 and B2 from the question. So the only thing that we have to find is U1, U2, and U3. So this is what um, we do with the Thomas algorithm. It helps us to be able to find our U's and our L's. Okay. So I hope you can understand what we've said so far. So the Thomas algorithm is used to um, decompose a tridiagonal matrix into a product of a lower triangular matrix and an upper triangular matrix. So what you have to also know it is that the tridiagonal is a method for doing LU decomposition, but it only works on tridiagonal matrices. So you have to know what a tridiagonal matrix is. That's what I explained here. So we know that our A is factorized into a product of a lower triangular matrix and an upper triangular matrix. So this is our tridiagonal system, this is our lower triangular, and this is our upper triangular. Right. So let's take the algorithm, the tridiagonal, which is very simple and straightforward. So always what we do is that we always set our U1 to be equal to A1. So let me come here. So we realize that um, this is our u1. So that means always our u1 is equal to a1. Then the next thing we do is that for i equals 2, 3 up to n, we find li by the formula ci over u subscript i minus 1 and ui is equal to a i minus l i b i minus 1. So actually this is all what the Thomas algorithm is about and trust me this is a very very powerful tool. So we are going to learn how to apply this to solve a question. And as we apply to solve a question, we are going to understand it better. Okay. So the question says example. We have um this system of equation here, and we are supposed to factorize this into a lower and upper triangular matrix using the Thomas algorithm. So you realize that when we decide to write um, our coefficient into a matrix, we are going to get 3, negative 4, 
the coefficient of x3 here is 0, so we have 0 here. This will be 6, negative 17, 11. I mean, the coefficient of x1 here is 0, so 0, 8, 1. So you can see because of the 0 here and the 0 here, this is our matrix A is tri diagonal. So that means we can use the um, Thomas algorithm on it, right? So Factorizing our A into a product of a lower and upper triangular matrix this is going to be our lower triangular matrix and this is going to be our upper triangular matrix. So in our iterative process, we always say we set for i equals 1, we set u1 to be equal to a1. So you can see that here. We always set u1 to be equal to a1. So that means that our u1 will be equal to 3 because this is a1. So that means our u1 is equal to 3. So we've been able to find our u1. The next thing is that for i equals 2, li equals ci over ui minus 1. So that means when i is 2, we're going to get l2 over c2, c2 over u1, where, you know, c2 is always the element here. I hope you can see that. This. So this is C2. So making a comparison to our question, then this is our C2, 6. So that means it's going to be L2 will be equal to 6 over U1. We just found U1 to be 3, so over 3, which will give us 2. So that means our L2 is equal to 2. So we have to find 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 different things. And so far we have 2 of them. So it's left with 3 more. And note that here the formula says ui equals ai minus li, then bi minus 1. So when i is equal to 2, we get u2 equal to a2 minus l2 times b1. So that's what you can see here. u2 equal to a2 minus l2 times b1. And a2 from the question is negative 17. So let me show you why it is negative 17. So know that. This is our E2, right? So that means comparing it to the question, this is going to be our E2, our E2 here. So that means our E2 is negative 17. Then minus L2. We just calculated L2 to be 2. Then times B1. So B1 is negative 4 because, so let's come here. To realize that we said whatever is here is our B1. So that means that comparing it to this question, our B1 is the negative 4 we have here. I hope you get it. Alright, so after computing this, you are going to get your U2 to be negative 9. So, so far, out of the 5 unknown, we have 3 of them. We have to find the other 2. Then we go to for i equals 3. So, when i is equal to 3, then our L3 will be equal to C3 over U2. Alright? And C3 from the question is negative 8. So it's negative 8 because once again, note that this is our C3. So making a comparison with the question, our C3 is um, the 8 we have here. Right, so it is 8. So that means our C. 3 will be equal to 8 over u2. u2 is negative 9, so over 9, which we take the negative trend. We have negative 8 over 9, so that means this is our L3, negative 8 over 9. Then to find for our u3, our u3 is given us u3 equals a3 minus L3b2. So know that this is from the formula, because the formula says that ui equals ai minus li bi minus 1 so with the case our uh, i is equal to 3 now right that means you have u3 will be equal to a3 minus l3 then b3 minus 1 so 2 so that's how come we have that particular um formula here right so formula here to compute our u3 and when you're making a substitution you will get our u3 to be 97 over 9. So recall that our lower triangular matrix was giving us L equals 
one zero zero then L two one zero then zero L three one so we had L two to be two and L three to be negative eight over nine so making a substitution this becomes our lower triangular matrix then upper triangular matrix when you substitute in the values for use that we got right you are going to because u1 was 3 u2 was negative 9 and u3 was 97 over 9 so this is going to be our u as well so that means we've been able to use the thomas algorithm to factorize the a matrix which was a tridiagonal system into a product of a lower triangular matrix and an upper triangular matrix right so when you are done you wouldn't want to just leave your answer there. you want to do verification to see what if what you've done is correct so if what you've done is correct that means when you find the products of your lower triangular matrix and upper triangular matrix it should give you your e so here when you find the products of this and this it gives us 3 negative 4 0 6 minus 17 11 0 8 1 and we can see that this is the same as the e from the question so that means what you've done is very correct okay so thank you very much and I wish you all the best.